look at this statement, some A's are B's. Let me ask you, what is the meaning of this statement? You might think, what is this all about? This is such an obvious statement. Let me still ask you, what is the meaning of this statement? Please pause the video, think about it, come up with your solution or your answer, and then let's see if yours matches with mine. Now, some A's are B's, there are various ways of representing this visually. But the most basic way, the way which will almost never be wrong, will be this. I think you will agree. This is the meaning of some A's or B's. Now, this is what it means. All right, now let me tell you what my students almost always reply to this question, what is the meaning of some A's or B's? They say, more or less, not all A's or B's. In other words, they say that some A's or B's means some A's are not B's. Basically, what they are saying is that there is at least one A here. Now, my question is, well, is it true? The answer is no. This is, we don't know. This can actually be a null set. What that means is that when you remove what is not A, sorry, what is not B from this, it will come to zero. What if, what if it comes to zero? Now, you might say, now that is cheating. You just now told us that some A's are B's. Now you are telling us that all A's are B's. But that, th these are two different statements. We told you some A's are not B's because you told us some A's are B's. Alright, so let me reply to that. <clears throat> Suppose I give you a basket full of apples. And the only apples you can see are the ones on top. You cannot see the apples below. So what is, and if the apples on top are all rotten, so what is the most logical statement you can make? Remember, we are sitting in a logic class. So what is the most logical statement you can make about these apples, which you can see are rotten. The ones on top are rotten. You don't know about the others. Think. The best statement you can make or the most logical statement you can make is some apples are rotten. Now that's not a problem at all. That's the same as some A's are B's. Some apples are rotten. Now suppose I overturn the basket and all of them turn out to be rotten. Does that make me wrong? Did I say some apples are not rotten? No, I said some apples are rotten and I have no way of knowing about the others. It is just further information which tells me that some, that it, it is all. But at that time I couldn't have known. So that means that some A's are B's need not mean some A's are not B's. Some A's are not B's is an LP. It's a logical possibility. But similarly, all A's are B's is also a logical possibility. The only thing we know from some A's are B's is that at least one A is a B and vice versa. At least one B is an A. I'll give you one more example just in case. <clears throat> Suppose you are sitting in my class and you are answering the questions properly and I get impressed by you. So I say, you know what, some people and apart from you, there are a few others who do the same. The rest are quiet. Now, I have no way of knowing anything about the quiet ones, positive or negative. I don't know either. So I can make a statement like or a prediction like, you know what, some people from my class will get through the institute of their choice. Now, when the time arrives and all people get through, does that make me wrong? No, because I never said some people will not get through. I said some will get through because that is the only data I had. It turns out to be all well damn cool. But then I didn't know, nor had I any way of knowing. Okay, so remember, some A's are B's does not mean some A's are not B's. It may mean that, it may not mean that. The only thing necessarily is true is this one. At least one A is a B and at least one B is an A. Similarly, can you say anything about this? Will there be B here? No, of course we can. And, but this one is much easier than, than this one. So for example, this is one way of representing some A's are B's. In which case, all B's are A's. So you can't say that there is a B here. But again, this again is an L. The only necessary thing is this. This is the only necessary statement. Okay. All right. Let's move ahead. Suppose I say some A's are B's and I say some B's are C's. 
So now my question to you is, can you show me or, or do you think there is any sort of relationship between A and C? Think about it, pause the video and then come back. All right, the answer is no, we can't say. Some A's or B's means this. Some B's or C's will follow the same relationship, but I don't know where they will follow it. They may follow it here, in which case there is no connection between A and C, but they may follow it here, they may follow it here, they may follow it here. So we don't know. Now in syllogisms, this is the first shortcut. So when you get syllogism questions, the first shortcut is that the moment you see both the premises beginning with sum, you can ignore that question because two sum cannot take you to an answer as you have seen. So this is a nice shortcut. All right. Okay. So now this is with respect to sum. Now suppose I say all A's are B's and all B's are C's. Again, can you show me any relationship or do you think a relationship exists between A and C? Pause the video, think about it. If you said all A's are C's, you are right. All A's are B's and all B's are C's. So obviously all A's are C's. So this is guaranteed true. This is an LN. This is a valid argument. If all A's are C's, you say. But can I say, can I say all C's are A's? Before you suddenly jump up and say no, no, no. Remember my question is, can I say? Pause, think. The answer is yes, I can. In which situation? When A is equal to B is equal to C. In which case, these are actually three circles, one on top of the other. And in this case, all C's will be A. Okay. Uh, however, remember, this is an LP. This is not a guaranteed thing. So our answer will always be this. Okay. So this is with respect to all. Now, one more thing. Suppose I say no A is a B and no B is a C. Now, can you show me any relationship between A and C? Think about it, pause the video, come back. If your answer is no, we can't say, very good. A and B cannot touch because no A is a B. B and C cannot touch, but then I don't know whether it can or cannot or may or may not touch A. So B and C, this is one possibility wherein there is no connection between A and C. But this is also a possibility. This is a possibility and this is also a possibility. So we cannot say. So this is the second shortcut. The first shortcut was two sums cannot take you to an answer if there are two sums in the premises. Similarly, if there are two no's in the premise, meaning the first premise is also no and the second one is also no, then immediately you can discard this also because this also cannot be the answer. Okay. So two sums cannot take you to an answer and two no's cannot take you to an answer.